replication so replication means in the sense of copying do you understand so replication also we can say copying so now what is happening means basically during a sexual method or uh, sexual reproductive method doesn't matter basically what they will do what is the meaning of this one from the parents you understand so from the parent organism we people used to get the uh, same identical identical means in the sense of what similar new offspring who is to produce that is what our main target of reproduction is it as yes, guys please respond so now basically they used to produce the new or similar kind of offspring that is what we can say identical offspring but sometimes the genetic variations will arise means uh, babies are not getting the characteristics of parents some situations in asexual reproduction so what is that some situations means it is it's not happened uh, like regularly occasionally like we can say in a case a case uh, in a case of dna replication if dna copying at the time of cell division is not properly takes place then it will causes what it is not a uh, different kind of organisms or genetical variations will arises in the offsprings that is what we people will study now so now if you want to understand this why sir this dna the dna replication is not takes place uh, properly sometimes so now let us understand carefully what is happening inside during the asexual reproduction so now if you take here what do you mean by this dna means remember all of you what do you mean by dna according to your words can anybody say what is the importance of dna i already told you just now can anybody say arun bhumika what is the importance of dna inheriting traits will generate yeah. it's not don't take a uh, scientific meanings and all so now dna means remember is a material actually marking of characters yeah. from parents to yes we are dna is a as we know which carries genetic information from the parent to the offspring that's all make it simplify which will carries what do you mean by dna guys which will carries genetic information means this is belongs to this family this is belongs to this family like that that is what so carries genetic information carries genetic information from whom from parents, parents to offspring parents to the offspring so now when the genetic variations will come kevin if this during the cell division if dna is not copying exactly then what will happen genetic understanding genetic variations will arise means new kind of characteristics will come are you understand what i am saying please respond that is what you have to remember so during cell division during cell division if dna is not copying properly understand then a new kind of genetic characteristics will arises that is what it will happen in very occasionally it will happen in asexual reproduction so that is why till now whatever we have studied in asexual reproduction everything is taking place from single parent is it yes guys please respond single parent is only we are producing the new things so to avoid this genetic transformations also we people will follow the next type of if you want to get exact copies of parents of springs and as well as you for multicellular complex multicellular organism so this asexual reproduction method is not suitable to produce the new offspring so that is why we will follow the next type of reproduction method what is that guys what is that sexual reproductive methods understanding so to make it exact copies of like not to create genetic variations and you need to get the exact copies of parents the offspring genetic tra transformation and also the sexual reproduction won't be takes place in complex multicellular organisms because of the different uh, varieties of cells are present there so that is only will follow the next type of reproductive methods that we will start from the next class why we should reproductive method that the sexual reproductive method is important that is the reason understand everyone so now here let us comes to here here uh, sexual reproduction exact copies of themselves why sometimes it is mismatch so here we will study the reason so basically you can see the material which will carries genetic information from 
parents to offsprings is what we used to call DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. So now, usually what do you mean by this DNA means? Inside the cell, you, may, you might be know that you have studied plant cell and animal cell. So inside a nucleus, we're having a thread-like structures. Is it yes, guys? Have you noticed it? Inside the nucleus, we're having thread-like structures. That is what we used to call as chromosomes. What we used to call, guys? Chromosomes. Chromosome. So these chromosomes basically present in where nuclei of the all the cells. Every cell inside the nucleus we are used to having these chromosomes. Do you understand everybody? So this transformation of chromosomes only will repl replicate the DNA transformation, which will get the desired characteristics from the parents to the offspring. So now here. Basically, what is what is the basis of uh, sexual reproduction, guys? It is a mitosis or meiosis. Meiosis means meiosis and mitosis, you people know. So it is a, a mitosis or meiosis. Can anybody say? So basically, it will take place in the process of mitosis. Mitosis means what? Nucleus will split into two. Is it yes or no? One nucleus will split into two. Later, it will start growing and they will split into two. They will split into two. This process is only called as mitosis. What we used to call? What we used to call, guys? Mitosis. mitosis. Understanding. So mitosis is the division of cells into two daughter cells. That is what we can say genetically identical to the parent cell. That is what we used to call as mitosis. Understanding. But what is meiosis? Meiosis is the cell division of gem cells like in the sense of sex, sex organs like uh, we can say egg sperm that is all will involve that is the process called as meiosis which we'll study next second part of this chapter understand arvin so here basically yes, sexual reproduction method so what kind of technique will follow just the cell division will take place so one cell of the parent organism will produce a two daughter cells of a similar kind or exact copies of them do you understand? So here, what will happen in this case? For example, if we take one cell, it is having a nucleus. Is it SR now, guys? Please respond. It is having a nucleus. So inside, what is having? It is having a DNA. What is this called as? It is called as DNA. Do you understand? Everyone? Respond. So now, if it wants to produce the daughter cell, first, who should divide into two parts? Who should divide into two parts? Anybody? Karthik again? Akshaya? Who should divide into two parts? This is just now I'm saying correct. Mitosis. Who will transfer first? First of all, nucleus. Who will DNA. Nucleus. Understand nucleus. So nucleus in the sense of what? Inside who is present? Who is present inside? Chromosome. Chromosome. The chromosome means who is to call as what? Who is to call as? DNA only. Do you understand? So that chromosomes means DNA only. So first of all, the parent cell, if they decided to form a new daughter cell, similar kind of thing, then the nucleus will separating into two, two parts. That is what we can, amoeba and also, have you noticed it, amoeba? The cell is becoming nuclear, the cell is separating into two categories. Yes or no? Two different parts, yes, stretching. Nucleus is stretching. Similarly here, this is what the complete picture will indicate DNA transformation, the process of asexual reproduction. So what will happen before I have not told you DNA. Now here, parent cell will be there, nucleus will stretch into like this and later it will develop into new cell uh, cells. That is what we can say daughter cells. So exact copies of them. So here, you can see here single DNA is there. So now DNA become into what? Copies, two copies it will be. Later nucleus become two parts. And later, what is happening? A single parent cell will separating into two new daughter cells. This is what we used to call as the process of asexual reproduction. Yes or no, guys? Please respond. So this DNA is only called as what? Nucleus. Means a chromosomes only will take a genetic transformation from parents to the new offsprings. That is what you have to remember. So after the division of nucleus, what is happening, guys? Nucleus become here single nucleus. DNA become two. Now, DNA after DNA separating after what is happening? Two nucleus is forming. Yes or no? So now, the rest of the parent cell divides to form two genetically identical daughter cells. Genetically identical. Do you understand? That is the most important one. Means, this both daughter cells will replicate the 
parent cell they are similar to that you may not you might be notice it is it they are similar or not yes so now these daughter cells they can form into two offsprings then we can uh, we can say this these offsprings are produced by one parent they are the result of asexual reproduction and they are genetically generally usually they are genetically identical but during this nucleus transformation dna transformation are uh, very rare cases occasionally if the dna is not replicate exactly copying then we is to get the genetic variation so in asexual reproduction is having a chances to get a uh, different varieties of like genetical variations of offsprings because of some situations dna and i might might not be copying exactly into two parts while the nucleus division that is what you have to remember i understand everyone so now here you can see this is what we can say the asexual reproduction method the process of asexual reproduction method which will takes place by which process guys what is that meiosis or uh, mitosis the, the process is called as mitosis mitosis you understand this process is only called as mitosis nuclear separation nuclei is separating into two nuclei okay so now here you see the new organisms produced by one parent through the asexual asexual reproduction understand they are only called as clones we used to call as means in the sense of what is are producing the two daughter cells these are only called as what we used to call guys which are genetically identical identical to the parent they are only called as clones very very important understand so what is that the new organisms are offsprings which are produced by one parent how many parents guys only one parent through which method asexual. asexual reproduction but they must be what they must be genetically identical to the parent they are called as clones understand so we can say clones means in the sense of what tarani can you say clones means what they are the exact copies of dna yes or no they are the exact copies of what they are exact copies of dna dna of whom guys dna of whom dna of their parents Parent. Any of their parents are parent. parent, parent. So parent, because single parent, correct? So they will show the almost remarkable similarity to the parent and to the one another. So they will exact copies almost similar. If the DNA is transformed perfectly, then they will get almost like we can we cannot identify like either which is parent, which is daughter cells. Like that, they will be similar to that. So now, for example, you can take. this uh, uh, sexual reproduction produces genetically uh, exact same copies that are replicants that is what we can say clones correct so you can take a parent hydra they will produce a sexual methods by which method guys hydra hydra is to produced by which method hydra which will come under two kinds of sexual methods one is what one is by budding another one is by by what anybody can say over generation regeneration very good so regeneration is also example of a sexual method of hydra so they will produce the exact copies of this similarly you can take the uh, new plants will go will grow that is what we used to say and if we we'll test the dna or is dna is only we used to called as genes what we used to called guys genes we can say please remember so now these as the same of original plant that is what we can say so the exact copies they will uh, copy of the original plant so we can say the clone which is formed by the parent cell they are the exact genetically identical copies of parent so these clones of plants they can be produced by the only asexual method of reproduction by a different kind of artificial propagation vegetative propagation like we can get cutting method we can go do, go, go with the layering method we can go with the grafting and we can go with the tissue culture all these techniques they will develop to make a clone even in animals also do you understand so before we have been started with the 
clone only in a single kind of unicellular or light uh, normal multicellular animals and plants but nowadays even we used to develop this clone technique even in a big complex multicellular animals also for example 1997 it's a real incident 1997 understand the uh, first uh, successfully uh, clone animal we have been developed understanding animal which has been developed from the clone that is what uh, by genetically producing understanding new organisms that is even uh, the, we have been done uh, uh, one sheep actually one sheep but first of all, the you know the one sheep has been developed with the help of this cloning process. That name is also called as Dolly. Do the name is what is used to call it? Dolly. You understand? So that is uh, during 1997, the first time. Uh, sorry, 1997, guys, not 1977. 1997, the first uh, sheep, uh, first animal complex multicellular animal which has been done by the formation of clone is sheep only so that is why we are having surrogacy methods and all have you heard nowadays in lab they are producing the babies human babies and all yes guys even recently you might be seeing uh, 13 million years before uh, uh, this dinosaur embryo is still existed in uh, china they have been recently discovered you might be seen in the news have you watched it so this is all will happens with the help of these uh, clones only. So the cloning, cloning is the new even technology for production of uh, even multicellular organisms also. You might be even uh, going and in, entering into medical field, correct? You, you are going to study a lot about this uh, clone word. So but clone is a what? A clone is a word which is produced by a one parent through the asexual reproduction. That is what a new organism, whatever it is coming from, a single parent, that is what we used to call as clone. So now, here little bit more things are there. Uh, why this uh, uh, silent variations are introduced in asexual reproduction means in the sense of a DNA is a, occasionally the DNA copying is not done properly. So genetic variations are coming. So why it is happening? And uh, what is the importance of this DNA replication? This is all we'll study in the next class. Now it's already time up, correct? So I will end that. And that uh, just a small explanation will be there. So after that, we'll go to the exact, uh, the next concept called as sexual reproductive method. So with this, I will leave you. And this DNA replication is more important in the uh, next and next and next and questions also so many mcqs will arise from this even two marks questions also what is the importance of uh, dna replication what will happen if dna is not replicate from parent to offsprings like that so many questions here will come what is the importance of variations the importance of variations in organisms uh, during uh, spill transformations of uh, dna like this all so many questions uh, uh, we can uh, we'll study uh, in the come from this only so that is why it is a very important concept so okay that is all we'll study in the next class and we'll uh, directly shift to the next uh, half part of the chapter so this i'll leave you so till here please kindly all of you go through once of your ncrt book also and try to answer the questions and we'll meet in the next class thank you all of you thank you sir. thank you sir